Hi everybody, this is Jeanette from Crafty Creations from JJW and today is actually my first tutorial. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, can you teach classes or how to do this or how to do that or can you make me this or can you make that? So today I decided to start off with a really simple craft that um, a lot of people can actually do. One reason why is if you're in the state of Pennsylvania like I am, you are under say home order or your quarantine or you're not supposed to be going out so this is something that you can actually do I think it's a great first craft to learn and it's simple it's easy um, it's fun <laughs> and that would be the beehive isn't that actually really super cute um, all you're going to be using is nautical rope hot glue some decorations and a pot. I did mine with, you can see right there, I did mine with the peat moss and I'm gonna tell you I'm not really impressed with it. The peat moss is starting to come off so I think I'm not gonna do that for my next one. But I love the flowers and I have a little bee up here if you can see that and I have little bees here it's a simple project. I think the total cost is probably about eight dollars around that. Uh, let me get you a list of items that you're going to need to do this. Most of the items have been purchased at the Dollar Tree. Oh, before I do show you what you're going to purchase, this is what it actually looks like before you de put any decorations on. And it's super cute <laughs> just by itself. Kind of looks more like a Horns nest to me than anything else but I think it's super cute just as it is but uh, we're gonna definitely decorate this so let me give you the list of things that you're gonna need first things first hot glue gun it could be small large whatever type of glue gun you're used to just make sure you that you have a good glue gun this is um, the ad tech high temp I found this at Tuesday morning I love this thing it's one of my favorite favorite hot glue guns Obviously, you're going to need hot glue. There's two different types that I have been using. Actually, three, but I don't know. Um, one is definitely the Gorilla Glue. This is incredibly durable. Okay. If you need it to stay, it's going to stay. But for this project, you're not going to really need that. You can actually go ahead to the Dollar Tree and get a glue gun for there and get the glue sticks from there. You're good to go with that if you want just a smaller one, which I do have. Um, also, another thing is Joint Fabric had 50 high temp, non-yellowing, you know, wood, glass, metal, any plastic type of glue stick. And I got 50 of them for like, I think $3.99 on sale. So a lot of times I do use these. Um, for this project, you're going to need about four or five of them. And the one thing I like about the Joanne Fabrics is they're clear. Uh, that's <clears throat> a lot of times you get glue sticks kind of cloudy they kind of dry cloudy you are going to need bees I got these bees let me see if I can get these up here with so you can see these I got these bees at join fabrics they're buttons actually and they were buy two get one free you only get six bees in here and what I did was if you can see the little black loops I just clipped those off but these were really good and these are exactly what I was looking for so you need some type of bee doesn't have to be from Joann's I know some people were getting them from Walmart you get them where you can you're good to go you're gonna definitely need black paint does not matter what kind of black paint Walmart I think I paid two bucks for it paint brush another thing that I tell people a pair of tweezers these are my favorite tweezers as you can tell they have been worn out the handle is not there the paints off of it but they still work and they still will pretty much stab you because they're so sharp on the end but I use these definitely when it comes to putting the bees on so I don't burn myself another item that I like to use and these are hot glue finger protectors whatever you want to call them I got these at Joanne Fabrics I got two packs um, these are handy especially when I've got to press things down I don't want to burn myself and they fit on each finger so I suggest that you go ahead Spend your money. Get them. They're definitely worth it. You're definitely going to need a pot. I got this pot literally at Dollar Tree, so I paid a buck for them. 
Uh, my other pots, I think I did a terracotta and I did a red. No one's going to see it. A lot of people are like, oh, what color? Get whatever color you can. And it's a book. Can't complain about that. Last thing you're going to need. This is decorative nautical rope. It actually comes in the Dollar Tree, but this has been really difficult to find. Uh, you can go ahead and go on DollarTree.com and try to order it, but I don't know if you want 24 of these. Um, if you can't find this, then I would suggest there's a really good alternative. And the alternative is actually this rope. This rope actually comes from Harbor Freight. And my wonderful husband ran out and got this for me. He got, actually got me two of these. They're $5.99 each, and it's 50 feet of rope compared to this is 9.5 feet. Mm, this is 10 times more than that. You know, this is 10 times more than these two. So I would suggest go ahead if you want. It's pretty much the same thing. This is a little bit lighter, as you can tell, but it's still going to give you the same effect of doing the beehive. Last but not least, always a pair of scissors because we always need a pair of scissors for something. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, depending on what kind of rope you're going to get, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and take your, your nautical rope open it up. This stuff from Dollar Tree, this is where your scissors come in handy, has this little piece of plastic you want to get rid of. That's that moss everywhere. This is why I suggest not to use the moss because I am not impressed with it. So what you're going to do first is this. You're going to start at this bottom piece. I hope you can see this. So you're going to start right down here with that hot glue. Now with this nautical rope, there's a little piece of plastic. I actually leave the little piece of plastic. Let's see if we can actually see it. I don't think you can actually see it. Oh, there you go. There's a little piece of plastic there. I actually leave that on, and the reason why I leave that on is so that it doesn't fray. And it looks, no one really pays attention to it, and if you want to cut it at the end, which I have not on my finished pieces, I just leave it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and put your glue right above the lip, and I need starting off. You're going to go ahead and put your glue right there. And you're going to bring this down all the way down to the bottom. Now I have some excess glue. This is where this comes in handy. I just pull that glue, excess glue off. And I push down. And the thing is with the excess glue, especially with these, blow on it a couple times. And I'm just throwing that away. It's not, I'm not burning myself. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your glue gun. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm trying to stay in the middle of focus for you. What do you think of the glue gun? Glue stick fell out. Huh. We're going to go ahead. You're going to put that bead of glue down. And when you put this down, push down, not just directly this way, but you're this way too, so that it goes to the brim of this lip that's on your um, pot. And the reason why is when you get done, when you set this down, no one's going to see that lip. So you want to make sure that you get down as far as you possibly can with it. Why my glue gun's acting kind of goofy today, but it is. And what we're just going to do is, I'm going to just lay that down. And if you notice, I always bring the rope this way. And I've got some goopy rope, you know, goopy glue, no big whoop. And I also roll 
toward myself a little when I do it. I have pans of probably steel right now because you just saw me touch hot glue and just go, mm. So I'm going to finish going around with you and then I'm going to explain to you what's going to happen as you go around because this is a pretty simple project. I think this is a great for beginner's project. I've got glue in my hands. But I think it's a really good beginner's project because if you want to get comfortable using a glue stick, if you want to get comfortable and you don't want to start making, you know, some of these projects are extravagant and you're just like, I'm just starting off. I think this is a really good confidence booster and something that, okay, let's say you get to a certain point and you want to stop and you could put it down. I think that's a great idea. And this is definitely the project to do. We're still going around. Now, if you notice, I'm trying to make sure this hot glue gun ends up back on this gray mat because that's my glue mat. This is my, I don't know, destroyed everything else mat. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and go around just like so. And you want to get make sure that you get everything glued down. A little glue goes a long way because you're going to put so much force on this, just like so. We're almost at the end of our first section. I've got glue on my hands. So we're down to our last section, if you guys can see, before we start going around again. This is very simple. You're just going to go ahead, put that bead of glue down, just like so. Press it down, just like so, and you're going to see this little lift right here. That's fine. You want that little lift. And the reason why is because it just lets you go ahead and start the next row. Put a bead down, and all I'm doing is starting the next row. When you do your rows, make sure that you push down this way and down this way. So you want to come from this way and this way with your rope. I'm not going to bore you. <laughs> I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole entire thing, but that's what your first row should look like. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty easy. Let your regular rope that's not glued down, let it, you know, be wherever. It's easier if you just let it be loose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and show you what hap how you're going to jump once this rope ends, how you're going to jump a new rope in. Alright, I'll see you guys back in a few.